Well, <laughs> I mean, the funny thing, people always ask me to include more day-to-day -day things. So I mentioned a lot how I got a big, got some cold happening. Um, fun. I mean, I can laugh at it now. It last, I was, you know, a little before this, I was definitely not laughing about it. Um, I had a gallon of water, this gallon, blow up in my trunk. So it like fell over. This lid like just kind of popped off or popped open. So the thing was soaked. So, I mean, I'm talking like my clothes, my bag, my ca uh, my laptop was in, like my laptop case, everything. Um, thankfully, it seems like everything is working, which is great. I spent the last forever vacuuming the trunk out and letting it air out. I don't know if you can see, but the trunk is currently open right now. So yeah, things happen. Thankfully you're alive. Keep trudging forward. Life is good. Hey everyone, Joel Anson here, and uh, well, I'm not gonna lie, today I'm feeling a little under the weather. You know, I got a, a, a sore throat, I got a bit of a cold, I guess you could say. Um, so it was funny, I was actually at the store, and the lady was like, oh honey, get some vitamin C, uh, why don't you get some fruit? And then I was like, driving by this place here, which is called Surf Bar, yes, Surf Bar, and it's an acai bar, like, so if you're not familiar, acai, um, it is a super fruit, um, which is coming from like Central America. I had it in Brazil, and they always claimed like if you are feeling sick to definitely um, eat acai. I mean, I'm not against it. Plus, I think the cold, like they, you know, the acai bowls, um, they're like a, it's almost like a really thick kind of smoothie, kind of like ice cream consistency. So it's like these lovely like fruit blended bowls whole bunch of other fruits and additions they put on them. I think they feel really, really nice, kind of again in my, you know, my throat, whatever. So this place, and I, I came and I looked at the menu, but they didn't just have acai bowls. Surf Bar also had these, they call it like patea, like pataya, patea, which are like dragon fruit. Yeah, like dragon fruit, I really like dragon fruit. And then they had these blue coconut bowls. Yes, blue coconut. So I was like, well, I'm gonna come out here, I'm gonna grab my camera and I'm gonna I actually probably order a few and let's do a video. So I'm not feeling like 100%. So what a better way to get a video for you guys to try a whole bunch of delicious desserty fruity bowls. So yeah, let's go order some acai bowls. Let's order some dragon fruit bowls. Let's order some blue coconut bowls. And uh, I'll get you the details. Let's go have some fun. Let's eat some food. Let's rock and roll. So let's go eat all the acai bowls. Howdy one, so let's just say I might have gotten a little carried away, but I gotta say everything looks so, so, so good. I couldn't help myself. I just wanted to try these different items. So um, starting over here, which is blue. I love how blue and colorful this is. Um, I have the blue shaka, and then um, I it normally has peanut butter on it, but I asked for the peanut butter on the bottom as per the recommendation. Apparently it's a really great way to finish off. I then have the uh, nutty tiki uh, with a, a pineapple addition that I added. I have the uh, one with the Nutella. This is the traditional acai, and I put no granola in it as well, because that is an option, so I figured I'd try that. I have the mako here, so we have um, blackberries, we have kiwi. I then have the mahalo, um, which is, again, no granola, and this is one with like the dragon fruit mix, the patea, which is super cool. I've never had that before. Beautiful colors. And then last but not least, I have the Aloha, this is one of the most standard traditional acai bowl. I did get the granola everything in it. I have the power pack. I got one of their smoothies. I think this is what I need. I need some health in my life. There's actually protein in this, not to mention all the fruits, a little bit of honey. On top, I got some chia, some flax, some coconut, which is awesome. And then I have the best dang thing ever. They said I had to try this, and so I took their advice. This is the avocado toast. 
So this avocado toast has an everything bagel seasoning on it. We got some basil, some tomatoes. I'm pumped. I'm excited. So like, let's, let's, I'm just gonna try. Like, you know, I don't know, guys. This this looks so good. Uh, I'm totally gonna start over here with the coconut. I do love a coconut. So coconut granola. We have some uh, blueberries. I have some banana. So let's see what that's all about. Oh my god. I have never had something white like that because it's coconut. I love, love, love coconut. Coconut's one of my favorite flavors. Mm. The fresh blueberries on top, the granola's nice and crispy. I get some like rice crisps in it. Throwing that some my banana. This is the health I've been eating my whole life. I gotta, gotta reach down to the bottom, I got some of the peanut butter. Woo! That is a rich addition for sure. Mm. Good call. It has um, pineapple in it, but I actually don't really taste like a pina colada. It's more just like coconut, so I really enjoy it. I love the blue color. Look how much peanut butter. Look at the size of that glob of peanut butter in there. That is intense. That is like, that's like a quarter cup of peanut butter. All right, listen, I love peanut butter. This is really cool, I got the Nutty Tiki. So this one has almond butter on it. Um, then I added the pineapple, which is really cool. I do have the uh, granola in here as well. Strawberries, honey on top. So this is the dragon fruit mix. I love, love, love the pink color on that. Give that a shot. Okay, I, again, I have never had like an acai type bowl like that before. If you're familiar with dragon fruit, it's a really like kind of a light flavor. I would say it resembles kiwi. Mm. I get the little notes of that honey and that almond butter on top. Almond butter and pineapple. That is an interesting combo. I'll try some of these other fruits with it. Long story short, I've never had almond butter and fruits together. It's not bad. Not bad. That dragon fruit mix, that potato. Mm. Hold on everybody. Just like, look at that pink. That is delicious right there. I haven't tried the normal acai yet, but this is a keeper. It's per the recommendation of one of the employees. I think having the nut butter on the bottom is a nice way to finish. I do like that. This potato is really good, but... Man, there's a... It's a little... It, I mean... I might be... Uh, I might be a little sweeted out by the end of this. Nutella, guys. And now this has um, no granola in it, as per my request, just to try something different. I'm gonna try to reach down and try just the normal acai by itself. I do have the strawberries, blueberries, and bananas. Mm, I love acai. If you've never had it, kind of has like a little bit of like a, I don't wanna say like a blueberry gist in a way. First time I had it was actually in Brazil. It's a nice light flavor. All right, now I'm gonna try it though, with all the fruits and this Nutella. We got a really nice drizzle of Nutella on there. No, I don't know, Nutella and blueberries sounds interesting, but I'm willing to try anything once. Can you ever go wrong with Nutella? It just, you know, I actually get more of just like a chocolate out of it. And what else I love is even though I chose no granola, they still put like bowl full of acai. It's not like I got a half-sized product because I chose no granola. I like it. It's Believe it or not, it's not actually as sweet as the potato one, or the Nutella. Like you said, chocolate and strawberry is a really nice kind of combo I'm getting. And that's one of the main kind of bites. Solid. The chocolate on that is a, it's a really cool addition, but it totally changes it. It doesn't, it's not like a traditional acai bowl anymore. It definitely becomes like a chocolate and strawberry mix. I like chocolate and strawberries. Let me down below if you also like chocolate and strawberries as well. Maybe I'll try the smoothie while I'm at it. This is like strawberries, bananas. Mm. Okay. Mm. There's a whey protein in this. Just adds that really nice kind of creaminess. Mm. This is absolutely delicious. A little bit of honey at the bottom. And the cool thing is you can customize all these, you know? So like, if you don't want honey or anything, you can get it without. Man, the flavor of the banana in here, that is an amazing smoothie. 
I'll bring this avocado toast so we can see it. The best dang thing ever. Shout out the power pack. That's a surprisingly good smoothie. This is the, uh, I believe the Aloha. So this is the uh, acai while we're on the acai. This is the one with the granola. Um, and I got the strawberries, bananas as normal and some coconut on top. So I'll try that all together. Mm. Very good. Actually, the granola is a great addition. It's definitely like, it just has a texture, a nice crunch. I love the fruits. Get some coconut going in there. This one's really simple. But I think it's simplicity at its best. I like this one a lot. Like I said, just pretty much straightforward. I'd recommend. Yeah, I thought the granola might like take away from the acai, but it actually doesn't. I think it's a really nice addition. Um, like, you know, I've, I've actually, I don't know. I don't know if they've ever had a granola in acai bowl before. Like I said, I think I've only ever had one in North America. The other, other ones I have were in Brazil. This is really good. I like the flavor. And what else I really can tell about this is they're using a lot of actual acai. They're not just like loading it with a whole bunch of banana and stuff. Some of them just are overly banana-y. This is perfect. You actually taste the nice berry, the nice fruit. <sighs> <clears throat> Blood sugars are over 5,000 though. This, I believe, is the, the Mahalo. There's the Patea. Dragon fruit. And then we have the uh, other coconut one here, um, which is the, maybe the Mako. But I have the uh, blackberries, the blueberries. I'll try this one first. I'll probably finish with this. So on this one, I think there's some honey. Got some kiwi, the first one we had kiwi on. Okay, the flavor of that coconut with that kiwi, a little bit of that honey and that granola, that was such a tropical bite. Actually, this one, it's funny. The first one I had, I didn't get too much like a pina colada. This I'm getting some real pina colada vibes. I love that coconut though. Try these blackberries. I love the fresh fruits on it. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a lot more like pina colada with this versus the other blue one. It was um, more just like coconut but I like it. And the granola is a good addition as well. The other thing I'm noticing with these is the way like the fruit and the granola is in there, because it's it's on the granola's on the bottom, it's then like the fruit and then like the mix and then the granola is again, it's like kind of layered in there. So you get some good fruit and granola all the way through. Which I appreciate. I have to say though, I'm getting cold. This is a lot of a, uh, a lot of cold. They're not smoothies. What are they? Bowls? A lot of cold bowls. A lot of cold mixed fruit. Woo. All right. Now I think it's the time to bust out the best dang thing ever. So like I said, we got a lovely looking toasted bread, basil, tomato, avocado, and some everything bagel seasoning. Oh my gosh. Wow. The salt on that seasoning, the garlic, the onion, the fresh basil. They got a fresh basil tomato on there. Super impressive. That definitely changed the palate, that's for sure. Going from sweet to something so salty and savory. Yeah, that is, uh, whew. I, uh, I gotta say, they call it the best dang thing ever, and that's pretty dang close to being the best dang thing ever. All right, last bowl. Um, this was again was the uh, mahalo. So we have some honey. We have all the fruits. That potato, guys. This dragon fruit base, I think, is definitely my favorite. Just the light flavor of it. Again, it's almost like kiwi. We have kiwi on this also. I love, love, love that mixture. Got some coconut in here as well. Give that a give that a nice little try. Usually, like honey, and they use a raw honey. I find like has a like I, I like the flavor, but honey's not always my preference. Well, the way the honey blends in with all this fruit, it just adds a perfect amount of sweetness. It's not a strong like mainstay, which I really enjoy. Oh boy, I tell you, I am. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I got I got goosebumps. I'm cold. It's been a, been a lot of these bowls, but 
Anyway, I'm going to, uh, it's getting, getting a little full in here, that's for sure. We just got a, a party of, a party of, uh, party of kids here. So I think I'm going to deck out here, guys. But I got to say, this is exactly what I needed. Surf bar, I really, really liked. I think my personal favorite is this patea, the pink one. Second, um, I really enjoyed just the aloha, the traditional kind of acai. It was very cold and refreshing. Like I said, I was, I was feeling a little under the weather, so I'm glad I got some vitamins, some nutrients, some fruit. Also, shout out the power pack. I think this blew my mind, like, exponentially. So that, everybody, hope you enjoyed. I know they have a few locations around Oklahoma City area. Staff been really great. Super friendly. They put up with all my weird customizations and stuff. And uh, that's about that. So now, everybody, hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, till next time, stay happy with the hunger, happy eating. A little different, so let me know if you like the style. And uh, with that, have a lovely day. Just over a three hour drive to Oklahoma City from Dallas area. I was a little, I was in our, uh, Arlington, a little, a little further south. Um, pretty much straight shot though. This is not a bad drive. Should be good. I'll show you what it looks like between Texas and Oklahoma. It's pretty, well, I'll show you. So driving between Oklahoma and Texas, we got basically fields like that. We got some windmills, and we're still looking for Mr. Joe, the Tiger King, because I actually saw a sign for a Tiger Ranch Park not long ago, so let's look for Mr. Joe's Tiger Ranch. And we are on the historic Oklahoma Route 66, there you go, there's a sign. I'm sure these signs are very, very much stolen. Um, you know, just like the through Arizona, the highway to hell, the 666 sign, highway 666 or interstate, whatever it is, is the most stolen sign in the world. And I would have a feeling the historic route or the Route 66, highway 66 signs are probably also as well. And here we have the proclaimed crossroads of America. Oklahoma 75. Probably gonna mispronounce it, but Sapulpa. Sapulpa looks pretty cool place. We have some, uh, you know, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> and some really old looking buildings. Definitely some history here. Cool looking place, but uh, I don't even have the energy to go out and look. So this is the view we're gonna get, but Sapulpa. Looking cool, the Crossroads of America. I am buying this cucumber because it is the biggest cucumber I have ever seen. Look at it in comparison to a two liter bottle of soda. It is literally the size of a two liter bottle of soda. Crazy cucumber.